Don't you? Of course I believe in God. Listen, I, I know this incredible creation didn't just happen. But the Bible... Oh, I don't know the Bible well enough either. See, that's the problem. Everything is based on the Bible when it was written by a bunch of men and not God. Oh, uh, hey, uh, allow me to reply. You see, the Bible contains 66 books sharing a common storyline written by 40 different authors over 1,500 years in three different languages and on three different continents with absolutely no historical errors or contradictions. <laughs> Yeah, you can't find another book like that anywhere in the whole world. The Bible tells of God's universal love for all of humanity. And of salvation, available to all. It teaches repentance and commitment to God with all our heart, with all our soul, mind, and body. Yeah, it's the guidebook for how to live on earth. And through it all, the Bible tells about the creation, the redemption, the fall, and the redemption of God's people. It, it's true. 100%. It's supernatural. The divinely inspired word of God. If you think a bunch of guys did that without God, I'm sorry to say this, but you're missing some marvels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I get it. I get it. Besides, I was just playing the devil's advocate. I knew all that stuff already. Oh, really? So, why did you come to the concert? Good music? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious. He likes you. Thomas! Talk about being busted! <laughs> you mean you don't love Jesus? Well, I know Jesus was an amazing man who did amazing things. That's a historical fact. But love him? He loves you. I doubt that. Why? Why would you doubt that God doesn't love you when he loves everyone else that he created? Yeah, after all. God created us all in love. Every one of us. Everyone in the whole world. Even murderers and rapists. <laughs> Whether we think someone is a good person or a bad person, God still loves them. Yes, because he is rich in mercy. And he has such an intense love for us. It's almost too wonderful. I mean, our God is a God of grace and mercy and peace. But above all else, he's a God of love. I know it's hard to imagine. But his love is as far as the east is from the west. It never ends. It's unconditional. His love is a gift that we get to keep forever. It's for everyone. For everyone who will accept it. Thomas, God is love. And that's the reason we love. Because he made us in his image. Don't you see that? Yeah, I, I do. But if he loves us so much, why is there evil and suffering in the world? Free will! <laughs> Come on, you don't think that God created evil, do you? He did create us. And He gave us everything we needed, including the freedom to choose to love Him back. Or not. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be real love if He made us love Him. And in the same way, God doesn't make us sin. We do that all by ourselves. God is on our side. It's Satan and his forces of evil we have to resist. Yeah, mankind is responsible for the rebellion of mankind. And our pain and suffering is the inevitable result of our sin. Okay. Say that I accept that God is responsible for evil in the world or any of our screw-ups. Then why does an all-loving and all-powerful God do something to end evil and save us from ourselves. He did. He gave us his son. For God did not send Jesus to judge the world. No. God sent Jesus so that through him, the world might be saved. Praise God. Amen. 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 Amen.